this is model 5 Nexus. I've been flashing Ubuntu ports, Ubuntu touch on it, but right now I will stop this process and instead of using the UB ports installer, I will show you guys the installer that I made based of it for Plasma. This one. And this is a proof of concept. It took me just one day to make it. Um, I used the design from the original UB ports um, installer. Right now this one waits for me to enter the uh, fast boot. So power until it goes off. And then add volume down and power. Yeah. Yeah. So the way it detects it is that actually all of these um, uh, informations here are actually fetched from the phone. So this one is only for model 5. Now it's formatting storage, cache and use data. Uh, and it will st start downloading the uh, images, but actually um, it takes some time to download. So what I did is I put them on my own local Apache web server and changed the beginning of the URL uh, from, uh, you know, the one on the internet to the one on the local host so that it uh, downloads things faster. But mm, this is just for the, for the recording, so it happens faster. Normally, you would just download the actual image. Right now, it's downloading the first one. Yeah, this is pretty fast because it's... Yeah, and now it's flashing. So now this one is going to the... Uh, yeah, to this place and... Um, UB Ports installer has the password um, input in it. I just use uh, uh, GK sudo, graphical sudo. Yeah, so the information here uh, tells you what is happening. And here the user um, is note that uh, right now this is the screen on the phone, but you should not interact with it. Just leave it alone and uh, wait until it's finished. This is um, this is something that people who flash ROMs often they kind of know these things, right? It's a no-brainer. But I'm not one of those people. So the very first time I was flashing it, I I I didn't know I was supposed to just wait. So I was like doing some stuff on on um, the phone before it actually finished, and that's why I failed the very first time I was installing it installing it from the scripts. So now uh, when I made this installer, I just like put this additional information here and I updated this uh, interface so that user can kind of like relate, know, understand that this interface right now is on the phone and you should not do anything with it. So transferring, transferring root FS. Tarball. No. It takes a little time, but I actually want to add a progress bar. At least uh, you know it's not hanging because just like in the UB ports installer, I, I use the same principle. There are these dots here. So when you look at it, you know it's not hanged, you know it's not frozen. Yeah, the, uh, and subtitle changed. So now it's unpacking the rootfs tarball to system image. Um, this, this is basically a proof of concept that uh, Lazarus can uh, create this kind of software very, very, very fast. 
this is just only one day yeah, it's still unpacking So uh, the UB ports installer is um, open source, but currently does not support Halium. Um, so uh, Plasma Mobile developers, they actually want to wait it out until the UB ports installer uh, supports Halium, and then they would want to use UB ports installer because it's open source to also do Plasma Mobile. And, and it's fine, right? But uh, I just want to show an um, an alternative to uh, you know to waiting until it happens. Yeah, now it's restarting, rebooting, and success. The install process from the computer is done. Now the device will do the rest and reboot when it's done. When you see lock screen, use the default code default code one two three four to unlock the phone. Yeah, so I added this so that um, <laughs> it's funny, right? But like. I didn't even know what was the code to unlock the first time I flashed it. Oh, it's gorgeous! Yeah, so these are just tiny, tiny things, and you see the same, um, um, the same UI. These are just tiny things that I hope will uh, help users to, you know, um, just like me. The first time I was, um, I didn't have that, right? I just had the scripts. And this is like, I, I actually didn't know some of the steps that were very, very easy to do. Because you should not as assume that users will always know and understand what happens. Um, if you are not a person who flashes ROMs all over, like, you know, XDA kind of person, um, then some of these things are not intuitive and straightforward. You need to know them. So uh, this is just one day work and it works right now for ubuntu only but because this yeah i can close this installer but because it's lazarus id made so i could uh, compile this same project for windows and mac os as well yeah and just want to show you here Uh, in this place, domain. This is the original domain, images plasma mobile dot uh, uh, org, and I just after that I uh, changed that domain to my local host one two seven zero zero one plasma. Uh, this is just so that when I record the video, or when I test it, I don't have to wait for a long time for these images to download. So I just I just mirror them on my local host and change the domain and and that's it everything else is the same I can run it from here this is the compiled version right now yeah um, this is mm, this is always happening when when in debugger.